everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about a backrooms level that's in a very weird spot. It's called the Insulation, and it takes place somewhere between level 0, 1, 2, and 3, and it really makes no sense why it's real. I think y'all are gonna enjoy this video, and if you do, let me know in the comments. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So backrooms level insulation is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is pretty dangerous to be honest. It's listed as an enigmatic level, which is pretty fitting, because as I said, makes no sense why it exists. The level is very large, and it's split up into several different areas, but overall, it's a maze of concrete floors with walls made out of insulation material and wood slats. The entire place smells musty and dank, not like dank memes or whatever, like dark wet smell. Like, kind of like an attic after it just rained, or a basement after it just rained outside. Some parts of the level are light, and some of them are dark, and the places in between the light and dark is referred to as the limbo, and I'll get into all that in a second. The most common thought is that the insulation is between levels 3 and 4, because some of the pipes sticking out of the floor or ceilings here look just like the ones from level 3, but there are also sections that are tied to level 0, which I'll explain, and as I said, there are several different zones, which we'll get into right now. So area 1A is what we call the light areas. These areas have a similar shape of level 4, and the walls are made out of insulation with wooden slats holding it back. The floor is concrete, but it's not smooth, it's very very rough and coarse and cracking, and even broken in some spots. In this area and in other areas, there are dusty particles from the insulation floating in the air, and everything just feels itchy. Now the next area is area 1B, which has no light, but it's very similar to area 1A. In this zone, there are pipes that are jutting through the wall. They're also sticking out of the floor and the ceilings and pretty much random places. And they don't really have a pattern that makes any sense. In the roof of this zone, there are holes that lead to other strange parts, which I'll talk about later. But this zone is pretty much more unfinished and darker than the first zone was. Now the next part is called Area 2A, and this is really where stuff starts to get strange as if it's not strange already. This part has lights, like Zone 1A did, but the shape of this area is almost exactly like Level 0. Even the insulation in the wall is yellow, and not pinkish red like the other zones. So it's literally yellow just like Level 0's wallpaper. However, this zone also has random almond water bottles on the floor, and it's the only place in the entire level with any supplies. Now the zone after this is called level 2B, which is just like 2A, except it's dark. And it's more dangerous because the walls and the floor and everything else here is disintegrating and cracking. Now as I mentioned earlier, the parts in between those light and dark zones are called the limbo spaces. And these zones are very strange. They're glitchy and buggy and they don't seem to be normal space and time. Like it's not, it's not like you're walking through a dark hallway, it's like you're walking through thick air that kind of glitches you around and moves you places where you're not walking. Like you can just start going straight and then glitch to the left or to the right, kind of like you're in a game lagging. There's pretty much no information about this part, but all that's known is that it's just weird and you should avoid them. Now there's actually two more parts of the level that you're gonna wanna hear about because these are the strange, even more enigmatic ones. Now the first one is called the Crawl Space. And this place is so big that it could honestly be its own level, but it is connected to the insulation level. The only way you can get to this area is by crawling through the holes in the floor of Zone 1B. The area itself looks like a crawl space you'd see from real life. It's got concrete block pillars holding it up, a dirty floor, and insulation in the roof above you. It's thought that the area is infinite because no one has ever found an edge or anything that suggests there's a barrier. The crawl space is like the rest of the zones in that it smells damp and wet and it feels dirty and gritty, but there's actually an entity in this zone, unlike the other ones, that is extremely dangerous to human health and should be avoided at all cost. 
It's called the Crawl Space Creature, and I'll explain what that is in a couple of minutes. The last zone was actually just found a few weeks ago, and for now, it's been nicknamed the Unknown. There's literally no information about it, except for one photo that was taken by the Wanderer who found it. If more comes out, I'll let you know, but all we can see now is that it looks like a claustrophobic space in an attic with lamps and candles, so who knows what that means. Now I'm going to explain the Crawl Space Creature. This entity is a kinda humanoid thing that's seven feet tall. It's got tiny back legs and two extremely long clawed hands on its front. It uses these long hands and claws to drag itself on the ground in the crawl space to chase its prey. Now most wanderers are slashed with the claws before they can even see what happened. So it's hard to get a detailed description, but from what's known so far, it's thought that the entity can't see very well in the light but it can in the darkness, and it kind of seems to navigate using sound, kind of like bats with echolocation, except a 7 foot tall, 10 foot long creature with huge claws chasing you. Now it's thought that this creature can harvest supplies from somewhere and place them in dark corners of the crawl space to lure you there. So it's like it reaches up through the floor of the crawl space to the supplies above, grabs them, brings them down, and makes traps so that you would go there and get attacked. That's totally not terrifying. To enter this level, you have to crawl through a vent on level 4, and it's also thought that you can find an entrance in the roof of level 3, but that's not confirmed yet. There are three ways of exiting that have been found to work pretty reliably. The first and easiest is by just going back the way you came. You can also find a different vent in the wall or floor, which might lead to another level. And the last way, and the most hardest way, and the way that I would never tell you to do, is to go down into the crawl space and no clip through the floor. But that's not worth it, because there's a monster that lives down there that wants to eat you. Alright, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you are still watching, comment Crawl Space Brugly, and I'll throw a heart at your comment. Thank you all for everything you do. As I'm recording this, we are so close to 500,000. Editor Brugly popping in once again for the second video in a row because I pre-record these. As last video said, we already hit 500,000, and I just want to thank you all again so much for just getting me here and just getting me past it. The channel is still growing insanely well. The videos are doing amazing. Thank you all so much for all you do. Thank you for interacting with the content, watching the content, leaving all the comments you do. Just thank you so much. I, that's all I can say is thank you. I wish I could show how thankful I am and my gratitude for you all, but all I can do is keep making videos, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. Uh, thank you for everything. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have a blessed day. Let me know what levels you want to see down in the comments below. And while you're going down there, check out my second and third channels, Toogly and Spoogly. If you want more content from me, I upload on Toogly and stream on Toogly. And I upload on Spoogly a couple times a week as well. And uh, if that's cool, you should enjoy it. Thank you for everything you do for me. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.